there are two lenses L1 and L2 they are placed close to each other almost combined with negligible distance between them one has got focal length f1 other has got focal length f2 now we want to find out if we combine them what is the change in their focal length what is the focal length of the combination and what is power of the combination we know power focal length relation okay so we take a source here p is a point from where a source is placed from here we want to find out where the image is formed to make it to form we take two rays coming from the point one ray we take along the principal axis which is a common principal axis and on the principal axis there is no deviation and the rays go straight without deviation so this is the one ray which goes straight without deviation the second ray we take here now this second ray which has landed at q there will be a refraction because of the lens one so for refraction at lens one after refraction at lens one this is the direction it has been converged and bent this was going in this direction it has been bent and now it is going in this direction now had there not been this lens had there not been this lens this ray would have gone here and along with this ray it would have made an image here the first so this is image made by the first lens let's give it the name i1 if it was not there no we have placed it there the moment we place it there then this the incoming ray to this lens it use its power and bend it further this is the this is the deviation done by this lens so it bends it further and this ray goes here this is the actual ray now it is no more there this is the one actual ray this is the second actual ray both intersect at this point and from here when we see what we find these two rays are coming and they give us image at this point at the point of intersection we see the object is here so this is the object and this is the image for combination again for very first lens only for first lens this is object this was the image for second lens second lens has slided has moved this image to this point so for second lens this is object which has been moved to this place and for the combination for the combination this was the object initial and this was the final image okay so there are three sets we write them one by one after refraction at lens 1 what is the formula for lens 1 upon v minus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f now we put the values here for the first lens 1 upon v for the first lens this is v and this is let's give it a name as c1 and let's give it a name c2 center 1 center 2 so 1 upon v v is c1 i1 for the sake of convenience in calculation for the sake of convenience in calculation we take this point as c and we assume that c1 c2 are so close then both of them we can consider to be at c so that will simplify the things and we will be able to cancel out whenever we want to so in place of c1 and c2 we will write c so what is the value of v 
for lens number 1. For lens number 1, this is the V and we write it C i dash. C i 1 minus 1 upon U. 1 upon U. For this lens number 1, this is the object and this is the direction. So this direction is positive. But from here u is on this direction so this will be negative and the magnitude is o c so we write it minus o c is equal to 1 upon focal length focal length of this is not given so we will write it focal length of first lens right okay this becomes 1 upon c I1 plus 1 upon OC. This is 1 upon F1. Right. Now, for lens number 2. Refraction at lens 2. Again, 1 upon V minus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. For this, where is V? For this lens number 2, this is the object which has been pulled to this image. So this is V, C, I. And this is positive. So 1 upon C, I minus 1 upon U. This is the object and from this to this it is positive. So this is C, I, 1. C I 1. This is equal to this focal length is focal length for lens number 2. So these are our two equations first and second. Now we join we combine these two equations add add 1 and 2. When we add these two equations see left hand side and then add right hand side. So right hand side is 1 upon F1 plus 1 upon F2 and left hand side is 1 upon CI1 this is positive 1 upon CI1 this is negative. So when we add the two they cancel each other and what remains 1 upon OC plus 1 upon CI. 1 upon CI plus 1 upon OC. Okay. Now, again, put the optical values. Put the optical distance values. What is CI for combination? This is our combination. C i is the distance of image for this combination. So distance of image and what is its sign? Positive. So this is 1 upon V. Okay. Plus 1 upon O C. O C. This is positive direction. O C is the distance of object. So this is U for combination. But it is on the negative side. So this is minus u. And this is equal to 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2. Now this is v of the combination. This is u of the combination. If plus and minus they are multiplied, we see it comes to be this. Now this is something known. 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. What is this formula for? This is formula for focal length. 1 upon V minus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. Whose F? The answer is whose V and U these are. This is U for combination. This is V for combination. So naturally that is focal length of combination. So this we can write as 1 upon focal length of combination is equal to 1 upon focal length of first lens plus 1 upon focal length of second lens.
this is how we get the relation of the focal lengths. So, please remember this. Now, if we want to convert it into power formula, so power is inverse of focal length, power of the combination is equal to power of the first lens plus power of the second lens. And this is a very obvious thing. If lens 1 bends it by 20 degree and lens 2 has a power to bend it by 10 degree, both are applied, then total bending will be 30 degree, 20 plus 10, 20 plus 10, 30 degree. That is the power in focal length. This is, this is the derivation. So please remember, when we combine, when we join two lenses, the power is simply get added up. For focal length, their inverse are added up to give the inverse of the combination. Now, if we have one glass, one uh, lens of power plus 2 and we have a concave lens of power minus 2, combine the two, what is the power? 0, plus 2 minus 2, 0. What does that mean? It has no power, it will not bend any ray, all the rays coming will go straight and it will behave like a slab, right? It will be something like this and here is the concave. Now you see, these two are parallel to each other. So if these two are parallel to each other, then their power is not there. It will behave like a slab. So it will behave like a slab and even if we go for that R1, R2 formula, the focal length will come infinite, the power will become zero. So this is combination of the lenses and this will help us to solve many problems. Thank you.